So this is Playa Escondido. A lot of, they have a nice uh, little launching area for the Pongas to head out onto the Sea of Cortez. Right here, beer is here. Now we're coming into Fortecitos. caravan of people a lot of people do that down here in the Baja they'll uh, they'll just go from one campsite to another with ten other people it's not a bad idea if you break down you're oftentimes you know 50 miles from anything Okay, this is exactly what an idiot I am. I wanted to pull into Octavio's camp. I saw this run of sand and I figured I'd go out at high speed. About an hour later, I'm almost dug out. So that's one thing you gotta be wary of when you're just bringing a regular car down here. You can get stuck. And of course, I don't have a shovel or anything, so I went and commandeered a stop sign and a boogie board some boards that hopefully don't have too many nails in them. I see one here. Uh, I'm going to give it a try. Oh, and a water ski. But the water ski didn't work out too well. And of course, there's nobody around to offer any help. I'm sure the second I pull into that gate in 10 more feet, somebody will come running from somewhere to uh, try to charge me 10 bucks to use the uh, campsite. Okay, here I go. I give myself a 50-50 shot. All right, I'm gonna roll forward an inch. That didn't work. 
Come on, baby. Ah, success. What a stupid move that was. And now I'm doing another stupid move going off, off the road. We go back here to nice firm dirt. I did it. And I'm going to leave the mess there just to let them know I was here. Now nah, I'll clean it up. Yeah, that was the bonehead of uh, bonehead move of the year. It looked nice and firm, and I had about a 10 foot run of uh, deep sand. I lasted about two feet. So not too many people uh, at Octavio's. I guess this sand is, is probably blown, you know, for a month before any idiot like me try to go through there with a car. This is what I came up with, <laughs> whatever I could scrounge up. But it got me out. So now I'll uh, clean up my mess and get out of here. Okay, this is a proper Baja trip now. I'm chewing sand. Fine layer of dirt everywhere in the car. That was really stupid. Don't do what I did in a Mazda 3. So this is Campo El Vergal. I don't know, halfway between San Felipe and Puertocitos. I pulled into a couple that were half abandoned. This one looks like there's a little action. So I'll give you an idea of what these campsites look like that are right on the Sea of Cortez. This looks like a larger one. I'm guessing there's a restaurant down there, maybe even a pool. Homes, I see RVs. They probably even have a, a gate guard. I'll ask if I can go in. I hope this sand doesn't get much thicker. I'm paranoid now. How you doing?
there's a bunch of homes here and uh, little travel trailers some with casitas attached like like this setup he's got him a nice deck built on top of his little travel trailer perfect we can get away or I could live there Maybe a little too far for, from town for my liking, but still it's really nice. And 50 yards to the left is the sand, it's the beach. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay puppy. Little doggy protecting his uh, owner. I see a lot of solar panels, so I'm guessing there is uh, no power. Yes, no beach access. And this is the beach right here, right where those cactus are. Yes, beach access this way. I get it. So this is just an idea of uh, these camps you see a mile or so inland off the five. And you know what? I'm going to back up. The sand's getting a little thicker. And I've already been stuck once today. Beach access is fine, but I don't want to get stuck on the beach again. Yeah, so there's nothing super fancy about this place, but it seems pretty mellow and uh, cool. This guy has a little wind power going. He's got a little travel trailer and his uh, deck. I'm sure he has an ocean view or Sea of Cortez view from that deck. nothing else he gets that sea breeze so again this is Campo El Verdel about I'm guessing 25 miles to San Felipe on highway 5 <laughs> 